I heard a speech by a prominent state of Colorado legislator telling about the horrible fiscal problems and they're running out of money for this and this and the highways and everything, just the whole panoply of, of terrible problems. And in the question period I asked him, I said, is there any question in your mind that population growth does not pay for itself? And he said, it doesn't, no, it doesn't pay for itself. But he says, I'm a builder. You don't expect me to advocate stopping population growth, do you? Well, at least he was upfront about it. And, and uh, but the, the growth never pays for itself. Your taxes have to go up to pay for the growth. And you can see this, this big fight over these two uh, C and D election issues here in Colorado. What brought on the Tabor Amendment that these address? The answer is population growth drove taxes up and people didn't like the high taxes. You had the same thing earlier with Proposition 13 in California. These, these tax limitation things don't come uh, to the forefront in, in low population growth states. They come in the high population growth states because the growth never pays for itself. And you have to, you have to uh, raise taxes to pay the cost of growth.